Hello YouTube, this is another QAZ WSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, some basic sound triggers in the Blender game engine. So, uh, to start off, I have this uh, really basic scene with our sort of player cube here. And whenever you play the game, all it does is moves forward and back. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our player or our boundary box and we're going to add a property named player. Okay. Then we're going to hit shift S cursor to selected, shift A, empty. We're going to add a empty on the plane or as a plane axis. So this will be our sound trigger. So the next thing we do is we're going to add a near sensor and this will be looking for the property player and you can leave these distances at default. This first one, the uh, distance, tells it how close the object has to be in order to trigger it. The reset distance says how far this object has to be away from the object before it can trigger it again. So as of right now, if I move within one blender unit of this empty, it will trigger that near sensor. But then in order to trigger it again, I have to move two blender units away and then back again. So then we're going to add an AND controller and a sound actuator. So we're going to click on open and we're going to select the sound that we want to trigger. I already have one here to use. And we're going to select play end. And I'm going to turn the volume down on this just a bit because I know the sound is a bit loud. Play the game. And whenever we move within a distance, within that distance of the empty, we get the sound. Now, something you'll notice is that if I go through the sound and move away from it and come back again, it plays again. And that works for some sound triggers, but in other cases you don't actually want it to play more than once. So we're going to add a game property. We're going to do once. It's going to be an integer. We're going to have a property sensor, and this is going to look for once to be equal to zero. We're going to wire that into the same AND controller as the near sensor. And we're going to add an actuator, and this will be a property actuator. And we're going to assign the property once equal to 1. So as long as the property once is equal to 0, and the near sensor is triggered, we'll play the sound. If once is not equal to 0, or if it's 1, which we assign over here, it will not play the sound again. So there we get the sound once, we go away, come back, and we get nothing. So you can play with the distances a little bit. Um, just to further explain what this reset distance does, I'm going to set it up to 8. So you'll see, and I'll also get rid of this, uh, I'll just dewire this sensor for now. So basically, I trigger it. If I move away a little bit and come back, you'll see it doesn't trigger again. It doesn't trigger again until I move at least 8 blender units away and then come back in to within one blender unit. So, that is it for this tutorial. Oh, I almost forgot. The uh, Let's Make a Blender Game series, that will be starting up soon. Um, so the genre selection, the votes are have been tallied and everything. And it, looked, it was really close, but the uh, winning genre was FPS. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do an FPS game, but I'm also going to include RPG elements, um, and platforming elements um, basically from all of the genres that were selected and maybe even a bit of third person so that you can maybe switch between a third person and a first person view. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.